Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland Hartman from graphicinmotion.com and in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my Macro Particles logo intro After Effects template. The customization of this template is really simple. Basically you only have to import your logo, enter your audio, change the look if you want and then you can render out your final animation. So let's get started with the customization. First of all what I want to do is I want to import a logo. To import a logo we can move to the logo composition. If it's not already open in the timeline you can find it up here. Just double click to open it up. To import your logo you can double click inside the project window here in this empty area. And in this case I will use the Envato logo just as an example. Let's take the logo and drag it on top of our placeholder here. And I press S and scale it down a little bit like so around 50% and I will disable my placeholder and you see we have another layer inside this composition and this is the tagline. If the tagline is not visible in your timeline as it is now then you just zoom out a little bit and you will see that there is a marker on this layer that says double click to edit the text and edit subtitle behind this marker. And this is simply because if your time indicator is in front of this marker then the text is not fully revealed and will not be visible. So if you want to edit it, just place your time indicator behind this marker, double click this layer and enter your tagline. I will not change the text for now. You can of course also change the font and the look of the font in your character panel. The next step of the customization is to import your audio. To import the audio, we can move to the audio composition and then we can go to file and choose import file. And now we'll navigate to the folder where my audio is located and click open and then drag it into the audio composition. Now we can move on to the render composition and now we can take a look what we have got so far. So you see now the Envato logo is already visible here. I'll change the resolution that you can see it a little bit better. And now we can change the look of our particles here. To change the look of the particles just select the setup layer on top of the render composition and you see that we have a bunch of different color controls. First of all we have three color controls for the particle looks and we can change these. So let's select the first color or let's start with the second color and let's choose this eyedropper tool here to take over the color from our logo. Now let's select particle color number one. Let's take over the color from color two. And now I can change this a little bit. Maybe I want to make this a little bit darker and a little bit more saturated just to get a little bit more contrast in there. Let's see what this does. Well, it looks quite good. You see that we get a little bit more of an intense green. Uh, the particles actually are adding together. So the blend mode is add. So you see that this gets uh, very bright here and you can uh, compensate by taking darker colors right here. And the third color, I think that this looks quite nice. So let's take a look what we've got here. This is a slightly yellowish uh, white. Let's change this to make it slightly bluish maybe to get a little bit of a colder look here. And I think this looks pretty good. The next step is to change the color of the plexus dots and plexus lines. If you take a close look you see we have these small plexus elements floating around in our scene. If you want to change the look of these you can change this here. So we could for example take the same color for the plexus dots as our logo. So let's take this color here then you see these small dots are green now and I will take over the white for the plexus lines. So just set this to white. The next step that we have is the particle color distribution. If we take a look at these particles here and if I change the particle color distribution from minus 10 which is the standard value to maybe something like 25 you'll see that the look will change dramatically. So now I have way more greens but I have less of the light colors. If you change this to a positive value you will get more of color number one, color number two. If you change this to a negative value like minus 50 
then you will probably only have white particles left like so so this just shifts the distribution of the colors that you import here so let's set this back to minus one to recreate this look and now let's take a look at the BG colors. BG is background, so we can apply four different colors to our background and actually you apply these colors to more or less the corner areas. Let's start with our first BG color. You see this is a very dark blue and actually I like this color because it blends in really nicely. And you see that the second color is a little bit of a brighter bluish color. I will leave this as well, but I want to change these two colors. Here I have this, this, dark magenta color and I want to change this. So let's say we want the overall look to be a little bit uh, colder here. So what I can do here for example is I could get rid of this this magenta touch and just make it like a dark gray like so. And you see I get rid of this coloring here and maybe I will add a little bit of a dark blue right into this corner you see this is this corner that i'm affecting right here so i can make this maybe a little bit brighter like so and now i've created a quite nice look so this is basically the setup and now you're good to go you could render out your video if you do not like the look then you can come to the color correction layer you see that i have a simple curves effect applied actually it doesn't do too much it just uh, adds a little bit of contrast and i added a little bit of blues in the dark area so if you do not want this then you can of course always come in here and change this color correction if you do not want the vignette effect you see we have a slight vignette effect then just turn off this vignette layer here if you do not want the glow, then you can, of course, also turn off the glow. Okay, so this is it with the customization of this template. I really hope that you like it, that you create nice animations with it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me through my VideoHive profile or through my website, which is www.graphicinmotion.com. Thank you very much for watching, and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye. Audio Jungle.